let them know this is what you follow. Okay, so maybe you measure this with your family. Okay, maybe you tell your children, yeah, come with me, we'll go to this family or this and give them the food and they will distribute and shout to the need. Why? Because this is fun. Let them know that it is not secret. Zakat Futter should not be secret to this world. So this is far open you and your family. Okay? So if we are five, me, my wife and three children, okay, so it should be five sides. And let them know that you are giving charity. You, I mean you are giving this Zakat Futter. Let them know. And I think I can say every single person is responsible about this Zakat. He means the adults. Yeah, for example, me, my wife, and I have three children, but one of them, 17 years old, the boy. And the girl, 14. And one boy, maybe seven. Okay? Those who are adults, they should do their zakat. Because they are responsible about themselves. If they have money, they have to give zakat. Okay? So they should give the zakat. Or if you want to give, let them know. Tell them, well, I'm going to give zakat for on your behalf. And if you have a Muslim maid, also, you tell her, okay, that this is Zakat Futter also. I'm doing Zakat Futter on your behalf. You should inform her because this is Ibadah. This is a worship. And any worship, there should be what? Intention, Niyyah. Okay, so where is the intention if I give Zakat Futter without informing my family? Where is their Niyyah? Where is the, the intention of my, uh, my maid, for example? They don't know. So it is important because this is fun. And the Catholic photo, the sunnah to be before the Eid prayer. Before the Eid prayer. And it is wajib from the sunset of the last day of Ramadan. So for example, from Eid, Friday. So Thursday, when you hear the Maghrib Adan and you break your fast, now it is wajib to give the Catholic photo. It starts from this time, the sunset. Uh, Sheikh, I don't know. Okay, then you can give someone as a mission to, give, to deliver it to someone who is needy. But if you know someone, for example, you know your neighbor or some of your relatives are needy, they are poor. Halas. After the Maghrib, Adan, okay, or after Isha, Adan, because there is no Tarawih, there is night prayer. Please, when you say there is no Tarawih, it doesn't mean there is no night prayer. There is night prayer every night. But you pray at home alone. But there is no time in the masjid. Because this is, yeah, subhanAllah, many people, they miss the Qiyam al the Eid night, because we are busy shopping for Eid. Okay? No problem, do you shopping, but don't ignore your Qiyam al Don't ignore your Qiyam al Do this every night in your life, until your death. So, uh, if you know someone else, you can deliver him after Maghrib, or after Isha, or after Fajr, when you are going to eat prayer. Or if you find it, it is very tight, very long time, the companions used to give the Eid, sorry, the Zakat al Futter, one or two days before Eid. One or two days before Eid. So, it, yeah, if it's is Ramadan 29, okay, so from 27 minutes, before two days. From, yeah, uh, let's say from Tuesday, okay, from Tuesday or uh, Wednesday night and Thursday, two days before Ramadan, this was the practice of the companion. So before two days, you can search and you find, if you find someone, you give him the zakah. You give him zakah al so There's a common thing that, what about the pregnant woman? There is no sunnah from the Prophet There is a common saying for Uthman and for common practice from Uthman and Fatwa. And also this not also that if you, you are pregnant also you include the lady. But this is not sunnah. Why? Because he do not uh, yeah, he live with us in Ramadan. But if you read or like some scholars said you give, this is up to you. They according to your uh, yeah, opinion about this issue. But as sunnah is not sunnah from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Uh, I like to mention one point about the zakat al the uh, if you have money. Okay. What I want is some of the brothers and some of For example, my zakat, 500 kb. 
I calculate my zakat 500 kidney. So I keep 100 kidney, every 100 kidney in one envelope. So five envelopes. And I believe that I should distribute this for five people. Okay? Exactly, this is okay. But if you give the 500 kidney for one person, okay, or one family, one year, this is okay. This is valid. Don't feel bad. Well, how come I give 500 kidney for one family? What is the problem? This is more than enough for them. Okay, this is more than enough for them for this month. This is enough for them for one month. Or maybe for two months. But the third month for us, they have nothing. So you can give them what is enough for them for five months, six months. Okay? So what is the problem? Even if you say, ah, 2,000 dinar. You give the 2,000 dinar for one family. Haram? Is it haram? Not haram. Okay? You can give them some sort of mission. You can give them up to one year, which is enough for them for one year. So for example, if you know a family, they, you know, some people lost their job, especially during Corona, and until now without job. So imagine, he, he has a problem, he has family. So his minimum need, every month, 400 kD. So how much for one year? It is about 5,000. So you can give him with 5,000. This is 5,000 for the whole year. Zekam. No problem with that. I don't feel bad. Because I know sometimes they, you have a feeling that oh, I give one person 5,000, that's too much. Don't try to think, oh, like, this is too much. Because your duty is to give the zakat. Where to go the zakat if it, it goes to the eligible people's house? You did your job. So no problem if you distribute your zakat for one family. The whole zakat, 2,000, 3,000, and this is the yeah, enough for them, one year or less. Because you know, yes, sometimes you try to find, yeah, for example, zakat 500 kb, and I like to find five people. Okay, sometimes people delay their zakat. This is hard. This is hard. My zakat should be 25 from Allah. So today, for example, 25 from Allah. Or to get 23 from Allah. 23 to from Allah. I should give my zakat today. So I find three people. I found three people. And I'm searching two people to give them 100, 100. Tomorrow after tomorrow. This is how you are delaying your zakat. This is delaying your zakat. If you like to distribute five people, okay. Make sure that you know the five people and you give them on time or before the time. No problem. To give in advance, no problem. But to delay this is not allowed. Because the zakat should be within one year. After one year, not more than one year. Yes, some scholars mentioned that if I am waiting someone, yeah, for example, I have a relative, for example, my, one of my cousins, he is needy, and every year I give him my zakat. So I am waiting for him. Something delayed or there was a problem. Okay, or I'm trying to transfer the money to him, but there is an issue with the banks. So the delay, two days, three days, no problem. Why? Because in a specific place, you are going to give them. No problem with that. But generally, because I'm searching, I delay the zakat. No, please give on time or before the time. We are still also found that to accept our deeds. And yeah, the yeah, last thing, yeah, I noticed some people, they try to provide others within the last 10 nights of Ramadan. I'm not saying don't waste your time, okay? But you know, sometimes when you, for example, you, you invite me for the iftar. So you invite me for the iftar, so maybe I miss the isha, miss the tarawih, or, okay, I like to stay in the masjid. So don't so try to put pressure on people inviting them or going to them within the 10 days of Ramadan, the, the last 10 days of Ramadan, okay? Because, you know, maybe they like to do a kitab, they like to go to the masjid. You know, some people, they like to go to the masjid. The qiyam at 12, at night, midnight, they like to go from 10. So imagine if you go to them after tarawih. Okay. You go see, yeah, they don't like to leave you and they don't say that, they don't like to say Allah is sorry. So no need to invite each other if you don't, if you know that they are going to the masjid. I don't mean it is haram, but you know sometimes people they invite or they go to someone within the last ten nights of Ramadan, you know, valuable time. Don't try to miss any minute 
within the last ten nights of Ramadan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted from us, exactly, the 